the anguish of those beginning to bury the dead, the weight of their grief seeming too heavy even for the ground preparing to receive them. <laughs> Comfort in short supply. The fire began, say witnesses, as the bride and groom danced. Flares or sparklers were lit around the room, floating towards a ceiling, soon engulfed in flames. Their path so swift, many stood little chance of escape. I managed to get to the door within seconds, says this guest, dragging my family outside. We were screaming. The fire was absolutely disastrous. By morning, the full horror was clear and still playing out. Empty wedding chairs twisted by the heat and families looking for loved ones. This wedding guest, looking for his mother, found only fragments of her dress. The town of Karakosh is close to Mosul. Its hospitals soon full, other injured ferried to districts further afield. Ayat al Kasab is looking for his niece and two of her children. Her husband grabbed one of the kids and ran, he says. She couldn't keep up. People fell over each other. The venue's wall panels were reportedly made of flammable material against regulation. Arrest warrants now apparently issued for the owners. The hall burnt in three seconds, says the man who lost his mother. I blame the government, the venue and the organizers. The people of Karakosh, a Christian town ravaged by the Islamic State in 2014, already no loss. Now there is more. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.